Truck on its way. Wait a minute. Your hammer is... Is that Matt Miller? Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, you're not. Matt Miller is a brilliant tacker, a venerated agent of MI6, and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying... Hold that thought, Matt. God's ahead. <laughs> Hold position. Let's take him out quietly. Matt, you were saying? The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. sent Cyrus Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? We're in. Get my back. You should be nearing the missile. There is a soldier everywhere, so be alert. Attention! Attention, please! Stay as fast you can make it. Got it. Uh, take it personal. Why would I should have killed you in Steelboard? Well, maybe take it personal. You ruin Steelboard! Ruin America! One more game. I don't understand America by letting you live. Time to destroy Washington. Cyrus is seriously lost. Mr. Celebrity, you'll be on mic.
child! This is a problem. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. 
I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple Here's of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I'm in trouble. King, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. <laughs> Come on, Keith. Have some good news. He schedules a press conference for this early in the morning. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Well, cancer had a good run, but it's time to put it down. Good choice. I hope Kenzie's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Now, Filibuster. I got a word for you. Ow, my <laughs> face! knuckle on that senator's teeth. Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Boom! And save me some popcorn this time. I'm your number one fan! <laughs> nice work, Oleg. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All our war, by the looks of it. <sighs> I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Be careful. Saving now, huh? Oh, beautiful, beautiful guns. Come on, this way. What the fuck, Keith? What? Damn it! Just better than everyone. going on I've trained for this here spin you gotta move Shit, save yourself fuck that save me <laughs> well it's a big part of the pairing around the ball that's all that's in we got this shit how were we not ready tell my wife I had enough what Nothing! 
Leave my country alone! Die, alien motherfucker! I did this for you. Die, human! Oh, you pissed off the wrong POTUS, assholes! Tell my wife! I had another wife! Bird to Ernie. Activate South Portico defenses. Let's do this, you beautiful thing. Enjoy leaping so much. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. Stop. Shit! Oh, human. 
Roman arrogance. Is there anything more charming? Fucking ass! Oh! Do what exactly? Huh? Bravado me to death? <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. Mmm, breakfast sure smells good. <laughs> Leave it to the Saints. Brought to you by Friendly Fryer, the only choice in home cookware. Thank you, Dick Brown, with Friendly Fry. <laughs> Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get-rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing, dear. I did only I, neighbor. Ooh, I wonder what's going on in the world today. people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Uh, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. <laughs> Boy, they sure are anxious to meet you. They? <laughs> well, you do have a queer sense of humor. Why does this all look so weird? Now, what's that you say? Something's wrong. This is all... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The fish are... What are you talking about? Don't you worry, man. We're almost there. Uh, I think there's something wrong with this car. Here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. Confound it, my toe. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Aw, thank you kindly. Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh, my stars! It's the president! Hi, Howard. What the... We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. Kenzie, 
Kinsey, where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From, from what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm... driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. This is peachy. Wait, 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 a what? What's going on? <clears throat> Die, bitch. Well. Alone, good. You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments.
I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Oh, fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? <laughs> Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. I just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. can hear you, and how the hell am I hearing you? I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about get me out? I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there, so you might want to go buy a gun. <sighs> right. Friendly fire it is. Your store again? Uh, set your GPS from the map in your hub. Hub? It's like a digital information pad. You know, like those mobile devices all the kids have these days. Cool. Can I play games on it? No. I can't believe. be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zen systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. And changing me out of these ridiculous clothes isn't a basic hack? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. How is that big dome? Hmm, not sure. I'll have to look into that. Zinyak put his people all over the city here. From what I can see, a lot's been taken over by the Zin. There's alien technology everywhere. You've got to be enjoying this. Just a little. Ugh, I'm probably... The whole White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. 
Why? I was thinking if it was, we could get Ultor to rebuild it. You know, add more defenses, more weapons, a few underground containers. Are you serious? Hell, maybe in a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? You already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Kinsey's recording this. Sign your casket. Are you sure buying guns is something I'm allowed to do here? I don't know. Do you remember how to shop for yourself, or did being president make you too good for that? Hope you got something useful, because the cops are swarming you. Hold any weight here. That had some style. Keep my head down until you can pull me out of this place? Not yet. There's a Zim Patrol close to you that'll need to be cleared out before that happens. That is, if the President's up for killing a few more aliens. I thank you, Miss Press Secretary. That sounds like a perfect idea. What can I say? I'm good at my job. Hey, you're just not good at subtle. True.
that all you've got? Hey guys, you looking for me? Just kill them and leave already. Good to be the president. Everyone loses to me. Time to lay low for a bit. Use my warehouse. It's not far. Uh, isn't there a nice hotel or something I can use instead? What's wrong with my inner sanctum? Oh, no, no, nothing. Nothing at all. So sick of having to pick up Jenna. Why are you trying to hit me? Uh, Kinsey? All your stuff's gone. What? Damn it! Sinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... Uh, there's no more safe houses for us in the city. Right. So, what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any hope you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. The sooner the better.
Clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things, and where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um, okay? Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. I think I got one, Kenzie. You sure this thing's safe? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. But when we get to oh, I love this song. Come on, Kenzie, sing it with me. No, I don't think so. Oh, come on! I'll even let you be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. Now your turn, come on. And you know it ain't fiction. Come on! No. Kinsey, that's an order from your president. Fuck that. This is why we aren't closer. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to with the bed. She makes the bed. And he steals the cup. I need some food.
right, got another. This data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. I know I'm gonna regret this, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Huh. I actually kind of understand that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh, it's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Now we're talking the same language. I wonder where Brad. Who fucking cares? I'm probably going to be late for my appointment. Such a piece of crap. So, three of these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data thingies. Ugh. Clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? To give his people a boost or something. I don't know, you're the one who says they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Yeah, but what about keeping us from... You know what? N never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Holy shit! Zinyak destroyed my apartment! Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well, I always thought it had character. Should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Awesome. Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. <coughs> what am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump?
Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. Liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be joking. Just try it. Fun, but I want something more challenging. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Perfect. See? You did it! I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck! <laughs> What's all this stuff here anyway? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district reality matrix will overload a little. That means something to me? <sighs> it means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Sounds simple enough. It's the first time I said it too. You know I love you, Kenzie. Lies. <laughs> <laughs>